Hello and welcome back. My name is Stephanie, the owner and creative behind Simply On Demand. I am a creative designer, but mostly I'm a Canva design coach. I help my clients create visuals for their businesses, be it disposable visuals or visual content within their business itself through one-on-one -on -one coaching, especially when they're not 100% sure how to do what it is that they set out to do. So Canva has given us tables. Tables are still a little bit clunky. And you know what? It's part of the development process. Oh, by the way, you're watching this um, on YouTube, please subscribe, ring the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new tutorial. They do, they do happen. <laughs> they do happen. Anyway, you're not here to listen to me ramble. You listen, you're here to see me play around with tables in Canva. Without further ado, I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to share the Canva desktop app screen with you. A blank canvas, simply start out like this. And on uh, elements, open up elements and then go and search for tables. And there you have it. Canva gives us plain table, top row colored, all rows colored with the cells um, disconnected from one another. I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's start with a blank um, table. Sometimes it can be hard to move the table around. As you can see, I'm trying to pick it up and drag it across. It doesn't want to do that always. Simply click on your selector at the bottom and drag it to where you want it to be. Resizing the table, you can do it manually. When I say manually, you can um, uh, size your, your rows and your, your uh, columns with the three dots that you've got over here. Or what you can do, actually, you know what, disregard the other one. This is so much easier. As you can see, when I'm on a corner, I can drag and I can enlarge it. But here's the nifty part. Push it up and drag it out and see what happens. The columns, as well as the rows, change size. So you can, you have full manipulate, manipulative um, freedom over your table itself. Now, to insert columns, when you're, when you're clicking, you can insert a column now to the left or to the right. Click on your three dots, add column before or add column after. Add column before, we'll simply add it onto the left, before. Add it on to add it on after it will be added on afterwards or what you can also do when you've got your table highlighted like this you'll see a plus sign appear on the corners on the corners or not okay plus sign over there double plus over here and a plus over here. The plus sign over here will simply add another column in without changing the width of your, um, your table. So simply click on the plus and a new column is added. When you add a new row, the rows are added to the bottom. So your, uh, your table actually grows as such. So let's do that. You'll see at the bottom over here, it's going to grow. Add one. You see what happens over there. Now you can literally make this absolutely anything. It's perfect for weekly planners, for calendars, for checklists, for absolutely anything. It does not have the same um, um, functionality as in Excel, where you can 
add columns together and subtract and all of those other fancy things that I'm not 100% sure how that works. But anyway, to add text to a, to a table. Now we've got the whole table selected. To add text to a specific cell, simply click on the cell and start typing. Literally just start typing. To enlarge the text, select it all and simply enlarge it. To change the font, it's the normal way we, we do things. As you can see the, the line changed size to fit in the typing itself. Um, change it back and all of them are exactly the same size. All right. Now, to take, to select, let's start again. Um, to insert text, start typing, um, to change fonts, you know where to go and do it. All right. I know, a bit random. Now I want to change this text here, a different color. It doesn't help to now go and try and select the text by dragging and, and uh, selecting it this way. See what happens with the, with the table itself? The table gets selected, which is not what we want to do. We only want to select the text. So you need to actually physically go and select each block individually. Now you can see that the outside is a dotted line and the inside where I've selected is a solid line. Now you can change it all to one size. You can change the color of them all to one color and so on and so forth. You can change the, the block color itself. Now remember the text color we change here, the, the block, the table color, we change with the, where this red line is through the color block. To change the color in this one block, click there and simply go and select your color. Okay, so you can have each block a different color. It's entirely up to you. You can do with your table, whatever it is that you please. Okay. To change all of the colors, simply go and select everything that you've changed. Go back to the top and make it, make the color disappear. All right. As easy as that. Now, um, text outside of the, um, the table, uh, deleting lines within a table. I want to have this, whoops, I want to have this text in there, but now you can see I've got lines there. Eh, I don't want lines. Select your block, select your border. We want this border over here on the right hand side to disappear. So select it, click on border weight, drag it down to zero. Look at that. Now we want, let's just take the text out. Now we want the border line, the outside borders to disappear. This one, it doesn't, uh, there we go, but it doesn't want to do that. So let's do that and change it down to zero. Select that one, that one again, change it down to zero. The, that wasn't meant to happen. Do that, select that one, just that one over there, border weight down to zero. Okay, and this one, once again, that border over there down to zero. Oh. because I'm wanting to, to hurry this up. 
I want to hurry this along. Make sure that it is grayed out, grayed in the border that you're wanting to select. Change the border weight down to zero, and there you have it. Now you've deleted lines within a table without having to go and do all sorts of weird and wonky fun, funny stuff with it. All right. So to change the line spacing to loosely spaced like this, select your table, select your table, go to table spacing, table spacing, and simply use the slider. As you can see, the line spacing now does that. However, where you've got your lines removed, see what happens over there? There are gaps. Now, yes, I suppose a workaround for that would be to enlarge it and get a line in there. Let's just get a line in there like so and change the color. Uh, maybe just change the weight down to four. That might work. Yes, it will work. And change the color to the color that you've got going over there. Size it down and just drag your, your line across like so. And it looks a little bit, from a distance, it looks all right. From close up, it looks a little bit wonky. But you know what? This is part of the clunkiness that is still within this. Remember, this is still a beta version. And then to, let's just delete that and go and, no, we not, don't want to do that. And do all of that like so. And we want to delete a column. When we delete a column on the edges, I delete this column. See, there's a line over there. I delete this column. So I will go and delete column. It opens up. So when you are deleting a column, make sure that you're deleting a column on the inside so that your outside line still remains. So delete a column over there so that your outside line remains. Okay, let's just do that again. Delete this one. Um, where did I want to do that one over there? Delete the column so that the outside border lines remain the same. Now you can change the borders. You can change the border within your column. Uh, like this. You can change the line like so. Let's take the outside line, change it to a different color. Let's change it to that and take it there. And there you've got your outside line deleted or changed color. Okay. Uh, there was something else I wanted to show you as well. You can change the size of your row and column to content. So these are rows that we're working in. So let's change rows to content. Simply click on rows to content and it will change it down. Let's do um, column to content and the column that column is now changed. So now we have to do it for this one as well, change column to content and so on and so forth. All right. And this is really, really just the start of it. You can create, and let me stop this here. You can create, as I said, calendars, checklists, um, planners, um, absolutely anything that you want to do within Canva to create a table that is going to fit in with your document. If you need any further help, please let me know, send me a message, or just respond to this video. I'm happy to come and have a chat with you. I'm here to help you design better in Canva 
with my experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All the best. Take care.